who's ready for some updates on the farm. I'm going to check in with all the animals today and I'm going to check in with everything that we have going on to make sure you guys are in the loop. Chickies. How are you guys doing? Water's okay. You got a little bit of food in there. Hey, you just jumped on my hands. Don't peck me. You're not supposed to bite the hand that feeds you. There you go, chicks. There you go, chickies. How's it doing, Michael Jackson? You smooth criminal? <laughs> How about you, Elvis? Uh, you a hunk of hunk of burning love? Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. How about you, Hens? Okay. All the teenage chicks are meat birds actually. They're doing great, they're getting so big. These light Sussex meat birds are sure growing quickly and they're looking very beautiful as they feather out. As you can see, they're well on their way to being freezer food. But the way we did the meat chickens this year, I, I like it. So I hatched out in an incubator these guys first and there's only a handful and it'll give us time since my wife and I are the only ones doing it it'll give us time to harvest the birds while these guys in here are still growing and then we're gonna do a second round and it's gonna be awesome and it's gonna fill the freezer and my stomach all right you say hi to the ducklings how you doing ducks That's one of the biggest difference between chickens and ducks. These little ducklings went through this big water jug in two days. Whereas these chicks have those little tiny waterers there and that lasts for like three days and it's so small, right? Still not sure how we ended up with two yellow khaki Campbell ducklings. These two guys are a mystery. When I look at them, they look like khaki Campbell ducks. I mean, they don't have brown feet. They have, they have like beige, pinky type feet. They have pink bills. They're yellow color. I'm still thinking those two yellow ducklings may be a cross between a goose and a duck, or they could be albino khaki Campbells. Who knows? I'm gonna let them grow out and see how they feather 
what color are they gonna be? <laughs> it's gonna be weird. Are you sure you want to stay over there in the corner? Nothing nice over there in the corner. You got fresh water. There you go, guys. There you go. Spread it around. Some of you come over on this side. This was the first duckling that those hens hatched. Remember we had a few of them die off right away and this was the first one? Look how big it is. It's huge. Hey buddy, it's okay. It's okay bud. Molly, what are you guys doing? Fuzzy, you better not attack my ducks, okay? Hey, get out of the feed. Get out of the feed. Okay, guys, there you go. You guys want apples? Red? <laughs> okay, we're feed. I'm gonna go get you some more feed, okay? Watch out, Olive. I'm closing the door. Closing the door. Looks like there's a lot of ducklings in here. Some of you might be wondering, what the heck are we gonna do with all these ducklings? Well, I got 12 of them sold. That's 12. I sold them for $100 in a package deal to one customer, but she did ask me to hold on to them for two weeks, so she gave me an extra 20 bucks, you know, to pay for the extra feed and whatnot. But that's not too bad. Hatch out, bunch of birds. I sold 12. There's 22 in there, so I'm still gonna have some left over for a couple of meat birds for the dogs. And for my wife and I, she has a special duck recipe that she wants to try. And I wanna figure out what happens with those two yellow ducklings. Are they gooselings? Ducklings? What's, what do you call a cross between a goose and a duck? This is a mystery of the Hidden Spring Farm. Elvis, you be good. You be good. Okay? Elvis! Hunka hunka burning love, huh? Dexter, you're not allowed in here, bud. You're not allowed in here. You gotta get out. Don't you think about it. Dexter? Hey buddy, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta get out. There you go. Gotta keep this door closed these days since I got those ducklings kind of in the wide open. They're not protected. And one time I forgot and I left it open and Chunky Barn Cat was looking at the ducks, licking his lips like, like he was ready to get a duck. But now I close up that door because I don't want to lose any ducks to the cats. <laughs> They're the perfect size and taste for the barn cats. <laughs> Dexter, what are you doing up there, buddy? Get down. Are you just chilling out? Dexter. Dexter. Hey, buddy. You okay?
So it's been three nights now that something has been digging around the outside of the goose caboose run. I put up a trail camera and it turns out it's raccoons, two raccoons. They were coming night after night. So what I did is I put down this fencing. I mounted it there and I put some pins down. And now if anything wants to dig, they'll have a real hard time. I also put some logs along the side <laughs> just to deter them. Since I'm out in the orchard here, I might as well show you guys what's going on. This is one of the apples that we planted. It's doing really well. Even though it's been so hot and so dry, I've been watering it and watering it, and it's doing pretty well. It's getting a little bit of leaf damage here. You can see there's just a skeleton that remains, and that's from these Japanese beetles. Here's the Asian pear. It's doing really good. It had four fruits, and what I did is I cut off the fruits so that the energy will be directed towards the plant, not to the fruits. Look at this cherry tree, guys. It's being decimated, decimated by these Japanese beetles. It's driving me crazy. Here's another, another one of the apples. You can actually see some of the Japanese beetles there. Right here. Look, they're all over the place. Another apple tree is doing okay. And there's actually a lot of raspberry cane that are growing around the outside, which is great. This pear tree is doing pretty good. It also had a few fruits and I just plucked off the fruits because, you know, when a fruit tree is very young, you don't want to try your best to produce one or two fruits. You want all of the energy and the power to go into making the plant grow good. Let me show you this wicked awesome pumpkin patch. Check it out. Check it out. I know there's some weeds in there, but check this out. Now most of all these pumpkins have not started to produce fruit, but there are a couple of early varieties that are given fruits, as you can see. Some of them are vining really well and they're flowering really well, but they just have yet to set fruit. Of course, the weeds still continue to be an issue. I'm constantly pulling out the weeds. <laughs> it's a constant battle with the weeds. Mother Nature always seems to find a way to win. How come I can't win one once in a while? Now, I'm no pumpkin expert, but from what I understand, there's male and female flowers. And of course, they all need to get pollinated, and that's what allows the cross-pollination on the same plant, because supposedly some of the flowers are gonna be male and some are female. And I think what I'm supposed to do is, once there's some fruit setting, if there's more than three pumpkins, you just, pluck them off. You don't want more than three or you're never going to get a full-size mature pumpkin because there's too much energy being divided amongst the seven or eight pumpkins that set fruit. Chunky, you look too hot, buddy. You too hot? Look at you, you're panting. Let's go back in, okay? It's too hot. It's too hot, buddy. There's no need to hunt today, okay? You're going to pass out. Look at him. He's panting like a dog because it's so hot. Hey, come on. Come on. You too, Dexter. Let's go. <laughs> I'll just wait to see how long it takes for Maggie to return home. <laughs> She's out hunting for sure. She thinks she has to provide for her kittens. You guys coming to the duck house? You two finished wrestling? Are you finished wrestling? Is this the WWE on the Hidden Spring Farm? Or is that grappling? Cucumber's starting to get up a little bit. That's a good sign. This is some kind of salad mix. Looks beautiful. Looks like we should be able to harvest some once it gets about this big. But again, look at all the weeds. 
Weeds, weeds, weeds. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. My darlings got a bit more work to do weeding here because you know I can't do weeding I'm too busy with the bunny barn but she's helping me out today because she's my darling looks like some of the Japanese beetles have been getting at the potatoes too you guys can see that the leaves are all skeletonized once the potatoes start to yellow a little bit then you know it's time to dig them up and harvest are right here waiting for me to harvest some vegetables. <laughs> Looks like we got a pepper growing here. I don't know what kind of pepper it is. Maybe a jalapeno? There's another one over here. Maybe that's a jalapeno, eh? Thanks for joining us today guys. Hope you enjoyed this little update of everything that's going on in the farm. We're getting towards the end of the summer here and it's a lot of fun.